Hello, my name is Max, I'm CTO and data scientist at Supervisely. Today I'm happy to announce that Supervisely team integrated new state-of-the-art object tracking model for 3D point clouds. And in today's video tutorial, I will show you how to use this model right inside 3D point cloud labeling toolbox to significantly automate the manual annotation process for cuboids in LiDAR or radar data. Let's start. So here's my supervised account. First of all, if we want to use neural networks, we need to go to team cluster page inside our team and connect computer with GPU. As you can see, I connected several machines and you can do that. I will provide the link in the description. The next step is to go to the neural networks page, find the modality for 3D point clouds it's, and the task detection and tracking, click here and find this application. MBP track. This model, this app just deploys a model and we can press run button, select one of the checkpoints provided. So for example, uh, there are models for tracking cars, pedestrians, uh, buses and so on. And actually you can train your own model and put the checkpoint here. Uh, then we, def we select computer with GPU. We just connected to our account and press run button. So right now the application will be started and the model will be deployed. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's go to the list of projects. I will show you the tracking algorithm on 3D point cloud sequences. We have a demo project. You can find it in the import page here. So let's open it in the 3D point cloud annotation toolbox for sequences. First of all, to start using this model, we need to label an object on the first frame manually. Let's do that. Let's find the car, for example, this one. We can navigate across the sand. Actually, we can play the sand forward and backward. And as you can see, there is a car and the movement for this car is not linear. So we will see some complex trajectory here. And let's see how the model will perform here. I will label the first frame manually. I select the cuboid instrument, place the cuboid here, and the toolbox will automatically zoom in to this bounding box and on different projections, I will be able to label this object. Let's do that. So here is a front view for the car. Then I just place cuboid here, uh, correct it here as well. So that's it. As you can see, I label, I label it the car here. The next step is to find the timeline here. See that the tracking algorithm, this neural network will be used for tracking algorithm. And let's track this object 20 frames forward. I will press track button and right now the model will predict the objects on another frames and you can see this number is increasing and we see that this cuboid is placed manually and other cuboids are placed automatically. So right now the model is finished. Let's preview the results. I will change the tool here and let's navigate across different frames and as you can see the model performed really good of that data and we got for 20 frames really nice tracking results for this specific object. In Supervisely for point cloud labeling toolbox for sequences you can actually label not so only one object you can label multiple objects and track them at once. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope it was useful for you. Please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day. See you soon. Goodbye.